my friends how are you how are you doing what's up what's good veronica you doing good i'm doing pretty fucking good so if you'll notice look notice anything different about me do you notice anything different about me at all just something a little different so if you guys have been following me for a really long time you know that i usually sport nails on the daily i think i went a real long time uh, having nails consistently, maybe like six or seven years. I haven't even been on YouTube for six or seven years, but girl, I have fucking nails, okay? And then what had happened was I had bought a house and ripping up carpets and floors and like doing all the things and stuff to my house. I just got tired of like shoveling money at my nail tech because my nails kept breaking every other day. So I was like, you know what? Screw this, I'm free balling it. I'm not doing nails anymore. And after we had like gotten into our house and stuff and like everything was like, pretty much okay i totally had intentions of going and getting them done again but i just didn't <laughs> like i was doing some diys and things and stuff and every now and then i would like pop on some glue ons or something but other than that i was like i'm kind of fucking with this a little bit but i miss them so much because it doesn't matter like you could walk out of the house looking like a scallywag but if your nails are done you still look somewhat put together you know what i mean so i'm like i really want my nails back so those of you who watch my vlogs if you remember there was a blog that i had done maybe a couple weeks ago something like that i'm feeling real sassy now that i got my nails back you know when you get nails and you're like yeah girl click 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 that's kind of how i'm feeling right now <laughs> so in that vlog i had went to the salad beauty plot and i had gotten this orly gel fx builder in a bottle and let me just throw out there first things first i am not a professional first thing second uh the this is not a tutorial let's put it that way um this video is like a oh i thought about buying that she had bought that uh i wonder if i could do it if she could do it you know what i mean because i am not like super nail savvy i mean i know how to fucking glue some press-ons on and i like half-ass know how to do like the quick dip tutorial but when i do do the quick dip tutorial it takes hours hours for me to do my nails even when i do the quick dip i don't know why but my nails end up all bumpy and weird and like it's just a mess girl so i was like let me try this so i talked to the girl at sally and she was like girl if you could do a quick dip you could do this because it's so much easier it's so much faster la, 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 la. and i was like hey girl i had never used a nail form before am i gonna be able to do this and she was like yeah it's a piece of cake you'll be able to get it no problem but i was super nervous because i've never used a nail form and that looks like shit only professionals can do let me tell you girl it is not it was so easy i did have a little bit of trouble in the beginning with the form because i was like how the fuck do i put this thing on what am i doing there was like this big gap between the form and my nail but then i had watched a video on like how to put the nail form on and once i did that it was coach this system I would like to throw out there because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put it in my title too is very user friendly it is so easy it does take a little bit of practice and it takes like some coercing but once you do like a couple of fingers because like in the video because BT devs I don't know if I mentioned this or not either but this is like I had done the video before the intro so like me as a person now i know what the outcome is but like the person you will see in the next minute or so does not know what the outcome is so uh we have some little hiccups some little bumps in the road but i think they turned out really good so this is what they look like close up do they look perfect no they don't look perfect you want to know why because i'm not a fucking professional veronica that's why they don't look perfect but they look good so close up uh, they could do some work right but let me just ask you one question who's looking at your nails like this nobody's looking at your nails like this right it's the same thing like when we look at ourselves in the mirror and we do our makeup you're like oh my god my makeup looks like shit but somebody standing three feet away from you wouldn't know no none the wiser you know and that's kind of the same thing with nails they seem 
also super, super strong. Because as soon as I was finished doing them, I had to go help bro like wind the hose back up and the screen door <laughs> fell off of my back door in my bedroom. And when I had put it up, my nails had got caught like in between the door and the frame when I was trying to like put, cause it's like a little slider screen door. I was trying to put it back in. Uh, my nails had got caught between the door and the frame and I was like, oh fuck, here we go already haven't even had them for an hour and they're fucked right no they did not they're so strong they're very strong i was so surprised and i'm not gonna lie that little 10 second flash cure or whatever which you'll see here in a minute i was like that's not right there's no way this is gonna cure in 10 seconds to the point where like i can do stuff to it but it does girl they i'm like in love with this let me just Let's, spoiler alert, I'm in love with it. I love it. It was so quick to do. It wasn't quick at first because I was doing, like I was filming and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So obviously it wasn't that fast at first, but once I did my right hand, and let me tell you, my left hand when it comes to drawing or writing or painting or doing anything with it is fucking useless. Like I am not a left-handed person. I'm not ambidextrous at all whatsoever. and. I even did it with my left hand. I mean, my left hand doesn't look as good as my right hand, right? Or I mean, my right hand doesn't <laughs> look as good as my left hand, right? But it still looks fucking good. Anything you fuck up, you can file away. So with this, like if there's little wavy bumps or anything like that, like you can just file it away and it files away so much nicer and so much easier than acrylic does because like with acrylic i'm like jesus like i'd be filing for hours with this it was like fink 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 and you're done girl like my one finger here which you'll see in the video was all bumpy and wavy and i filed it away in like a minute it was awesome i love it i love it so um yeah, I just, I can't think it's priceless enough if you can't already tell. It's a really good system, girl. And just being a regular ass bitch, you can do it. You can do it too. I was really, really worried about the nail form. I really was, which you will see in the video, but it's so much easier than I thought it was going to be. That is what scared me the most was the nail form. And I will say the hardest part about it is the nail form is like really tricky and really hard to get on, but the builder in a bottle stuff that you paint on basically the thing that builds your nail is like so forgiving like it reminds me of epoxy i don't know if you've ever used epoxy before probably fucking not because this is a makeup channel but if you've ever used epoxy it's self-leveling so no matter how bumpy it looks once it like levels out it's coach like it's good and this is exactly like that and i love it i love it so much and i'm so excited to have nails back so just to recap this is not a tutorial this is me just figuring out if i can use this or not and this is the end result girl and i'm fucking it up veronica i love it so um on to the not tutorial part where i try it out let's say that on to the part where i try it out <laughs> okay all right y'all let's uh let's get this party started this may or may not turn out to be a complete and utter disaster y'all will have already known if it did uh by the intro this that intro was future nikki so uh present nikki here we're getting ready to do this i'm a little nervous i'm not gonna lie because Seems a little complicated, but as they say, this is gonna be easy. So this is, here we go. We're just gonna do it. So this is what the kit looks like. Gel effects, oily gel effects, build it in a bottle. As I mentioned, uh, or will mention, future Nikki will mention, in the intro, um, I have no fucking clue what I'm doing. So the kit comes with your forms. It comes with like a big stack of forms. You got your top coat, you've got your builder in a bottle, and then, whoops, and then you've got your primer. I would also like to throw out that I do not, I feel like I have to move my hands like this because you can't see my face. All you can see is my hands. Anyway, uh, I do not film nail videos and I'm in a really awkward position right now, so things may go in and out of focus because this isn't really my gig right here this whole this whole thing is it's not really my gig uh i've watched a couple of videos on how to do this but just coming at you guys is like you know a chick so 
Um, oh, it also comes with a little file, which I may or may not have misplaced. No, I did not. It comes here. So you get your directions, your nail forms, this stuff, um, and a file. And that's basically all that comes in the kit. I have my own gel light. You have to have like a LED light. I don't even know what the hell the light's called. It's the light that you use to like with gel nails. This light, um, as you can see, it's super professional, is <laughs> a light that came with the Sally Hansen uh, gel nail kit. So if this isn't the right light, then uh, we'll be screwed. But I mean, lights are lights are lights. Am I right, ladies? I don't know if I'm right because I'm not fucking professional. Okay, let's get into it. So from the videos that I've watched, um, the first step to do is apply your nail tip primer. Oh, also I just want to throw out, I'm probably only going to do one, maybe two nails. Cause as I said, uh, I'm in a real awkward position here and it's really hard for me <laughs> to see what the hell I'm doing. So hopefully you guys can see, Ooh, that smells like antifungal. I'm going to go ahead and assume that's what this is. This primer's antifungal. Um, if you like get your nails done and stuff, they usually only put this like on the part that your tip's not on. And because I'm not using a tip, it says to put it on the whole nail bed. So that's what we're going to do because that's what it says in the directions. I'm not going to go through and read the directions as I'm going through because like I said, I've already watched a couple of videos. Uh, we just going to wing it, beach. That's what we're going to do. See how like useless my left hand is? Like it's so hard to even... <laughs> hold it right oh and I've had maybe um two to three cups of cold brew today so your girl's a little shaky so let's just ignore that how that nail primer smells delightful it really it doesn't it doesn't smell delightful I was exaggerating okay so um I personally have never used a nail form before uh so if I'm doing it wrong feel free to tell me in the comments as I'm sure you will, if you're a nail professional, how horribly I'm doing. I would appreciate that. That'd be great if you could elaborate on what a shitty job I'm doing. I, I would really appreciate that. Okay, so from the videos I've watched, I guess you just stick this thing. I mean, y'all, I've really just never used one of these. I guess you just like stick it under your nail. And I'm also trying to make sure I like stay in focus. This is super hard. I guess you just like stick it on like that and pinch it or something. Like this maybe. No, that looks kind of crooked, doesn't it? Um, let's retry that again. <laughs> Attempt number two, just applying the form. Just applying the form. I'm sure there's plenty of nail professionals out there just uh, laughing your asses off at me because I'm just completely wrong here. What, like this? Oh, there we go. Hey, that seems okay, right? I feel like there's like a little gap right here though. I'm gonna try to push it down a little more because I feel like there's like a little gap on the edge there. Okay, I guess that's as, as, as good as it's going to get. I, d I don't know if it's right, but, you know, we ain't nail professionals here. This is like Jenna's Ratchet Nail Salon. <laughs> the next step is says to take the builder in a bottle and, like, form your... Let me get up in there. Form your nail onto the nail form. So I'm going to go ahead and try that now. got this little itty bitty brush oh shit oh man that wasn't supposed to happen brb okay try number two here we go let's try this out here so it says to follow the form and just kind of like create your little nail shape up here I feel like there's like a gap um, between the form and my nail, like right in this area right here. Do you see how there's like a little gap 
right there. I think I'm going to try to reapply this nail form. I'm going to wipe this off and try to reapply this nail form because I feel like that's not what's supposed to happen. <laughs> So BRB. Hey, I'm back and I just watched a video on how to apply nail form. So I'm basically a professional now. So let's try this again. Okay, first step, uh, brush your little nail on. So here we go. They make it look so easy on the video. So you basically just create your little shape. And I'm not doing mine very long because uh, I just, I don't want them that long. They always end up breaking and stuff. So we ain't going long today, Goyles. So check it out and see if it looks good. I'm going to put mine closer to my face to make sure it looks okay. And then you're going to flash cure for 10 seconds. So from what I can tell, I think it looks okay. I'm no professional. So also I forgot to mention that the formula of this uh, Orly Gel FX Nail Builder is like this in new, innovative, like self-leveling formula. So even if you've got like some little bumps, just give it a second and it's supposed to self-level. So now I am going to flash cure it for 10 seconds and because I don't have a timer, I'm going to time it with my mouth. Okay, flash cure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Uh, I guess that's enough. Right? Sure. You then cover the entire nail. So you take your builder in a bottle and run it down the entire nail to kind of connect the two. I feel like there's like a little bump. I'm trying to make sure I get it like right up to the edge too. So once you've done that, then you do not cure, but it says you float a bead down the center of the nail. I'm assuming probably to like even everything out. So I'm gonna go ahead and let me dip again. I wanna get a good amount of product on there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Float a bead down the center of the nail. And like I said earlier, this is supposed to be like this innovative self-leveling formula. So, and then at this point you let it sit for a second. So that way it self-levels because you know, it's that like real good self-leveling formula. And then you flash cure again for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I'm crazy and I feel like 10 seconds just wouldn't be enough, right? Doesn't it feel that way? <laughs> it kind of does to me. So. Let's just let the whole 30 run. Why not, girl? Run out. What can it hurt, right? <laughs> okay. At this point, it says you are good to remove the form. So the way you remove the form is uh, by pinching under the nail and kind of rocking it back and forth. Right? Sure. Oh my god, it can't. <gasps> Look! Oh, it did it! Look! Oh my god! Cool! Okay, okay. Calm down, girl. Calm down. Now at this point, it says you can go in and file. And this is just a file that I have. So I'm going to go in and file um, my nail because it's, it's super hard for me to like sit here and try to file it. I'm going to file it into the shape that I want and then I'll BRB. Now that I've got it filed into the shape that I want, you can't really see on that white background. So this is like the shape that I'm going for. It was really dusty and I had to go through and clean it off with alcohol. Sorry if you guys can hear Aiden walking around. Um, so I went ahead and like cleaned it off with alcohol and now it says that you have to do an overlay. 
um, which I, from the video that I watched, is just brushing it on and then doing another bead. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the overlay. So, and I'm assuming that's to like fill in any little bumps or gaps or anything like that. So, oh, I guess I could get in frame, huh? So, from what it looked like in the video that I watched, they just kind of brushed it on. And then they like dropped a bead in the center again. Because again, if y'all remember, like I said earlier, this is like a self-leveling formula. So, all of this should is supposed to like level itself out so i just brushed it on and now i'm just gonna like drop a little bead down the center and just let that level itself out for a sec oh no i'm dropping things once you let it level for a second then you do a full cure so i'm going to cure for 30 seconds my lot is 30 seconds so we ain't got to count this time girl then she done and it basically it doesn't actually look too bad i mean obviously it's not perfection but this is my first time doing it and it doesn't look that bad y'all this was like pretty easy and for me to like sit here and try to film it and do it for the first time too. The hardest part I found was the nail form, like getting it on correctly and um, making sure there wasn't any gap or anything like that. So not bad. So at this point, you then go through and clean off the tacky surface with alcohol. At that point, you can either file it to whatever shape that you desire again or you can put like a gel over it. And then once you're done with that, you can do your top coat and then you just cure your top coat like normal. So I'm going to go ahead and try, try girl, to do um, the rest of my hands. Like I said, I'm not going to do like every finger on camera because that would just take entirely too long and be too hard. I really just wanted to do this video to see if this was like feasible for a normal, like not professional ass bitch to be able to do on your own and from the looks of it so far it, it seems like it is so that's super cool all right so i'm gonna do the rest of my hand and then we'll do the top coat and see how that turns out i did forget to mention too that if you want to file the top of it so if you've ever done acrylics or anything like that you'll want to file the top of it to get it a little bit more smooth because as you can see well it's you can see it better on there it's not like the most smooth so i'm probably am going to go through and file that because i can fill like a little gap right here just like a little bump from where my nail like was disconnected from um like the differential between where the what's that called nail form was you know what i mean does that make sense so i'll probably see if i can smooth that out a little i'll let you guys know when i come back if it wasn't able to smooth out or you know if i was or whatever else hello i'm back and i'm done look I'm all done. My nails look all chawed up just because, or not my nails, but my cuticles look kind of chawed up because I've been filing. But y'all, I was like so shocked at how easy this was. It was actually really easy. Do they look perfect? No, because I'm not a fucking professional and this was my first time using it. But I can say that I feel like the more you use it, the more you kind of get a feel for the formula. Let me put my hand behind there so it's like easier to see. There you go, you can see a little bit better. So you can see like on this nail, I did my other hand too. You can see on this nail where it's kind of wonky and like uneven and like my pinky is just a little bit wonky, but like it's nothing that anybody's gonna be able to notice. Like from uh, unless somebody's like shoving their fucking face in your hands nobody's going to be able to notice that and like i said i feel like the more i use it the more i'll get a feel for the formula and like how it works if you remember uh this one was like it was like real wavy like there was like a big ass dent right here and i just filed it away am i covered with whatever the hell this is made of dust yes Yes, I am, but it did not take very long. When I used to do uh, my acrylics with like the quick dip or whatever, for whatever reason, it would take me hours to do. Hours, y'all, hours. I really liked the nail forms. Like I've, I said in the beginning, I've never used them before, and they were really freaking dope. Like I 
really like these can. All you have to do from this point on once you're finished is put the top coat on and cure it for 30 seconds. It also says in the little kit that if you want to rock like the clear nails, because it'll go back to being like clear as day. It's just foggy right now because I filed it. Um, if you want to like rock the clear nails, kind of like how it has on here where you can see like her tips aren't silver, they're clear. Um, you can take the top coat and go like underneath the nail and cure it, you know, top coat it, cure it, whatever. Sorry, that was my phone. Uh, top coat it, cure it, whatever, um, to like rock that cure, that clear look. I don't really like that look. So I, um, well, actually you guys have probably already seen my funky nails because like, hello, the intro is future Nikki. So um, I thought it was really easy though. I mean, it, I, I honestly thought this was going to be a massive disaster. Okay, back to future Nikki. So how easy was that? Was that not like the easiest thing ever, right? I mean, if I can do it, y'all can do it. Oh, I forgot to mention that too. I'm so sorry. I forgot to mention. I might have mentioned it like in the little clip before this, but you do have to have a light. So if you have a gel light, um, you can get gel lights for like cheap AF now. You can just buy one on Amazon, but you do need a gel light to do this doesn't have to be any kind of specific gel light from personal experience of the one time that I've done it because the gel light that I have is like 10 freaking years old and it came in a Sally Hansen gel kit so I got it for six dollars so there's that and that thing worked so if that works I'm sure some piece of shit off of Amazon would too if you guys are curious as to the color I used it's the ASP peach orchard this is the color peach orchard and basically what I did, because I don't think I mentioned that um, in the video, in the clip before this, um, was I did like the whole system or whatever, except for the top coat. And I did my gel nails first, and then I put the uh, Orly top coat on instead of my own top coat. I don't know if that made a difference. I thought that maybe I would put the top coat under it, but then I was like, well, if I put the top coat under it, and then I put the gel on, then I gotta put another top coat. You know what I mean? I just didn't want all those layers on my nails. So I put the gel nail first. So if you decide to do this and paint your nails on top of it, I personally, I'm not telling you this is what you should do because obviously I'm not a pro at this. Um, I personally put my gel paint on, cured it, then did the oily top coat, then cured it, then you know did whatever. So uh, this is the color that I used. That's what's up. That is that. And I like it a lot and I'm super excited and I'm gonna cut it off because I know this video is gonna be super long and there's gonna be like all those assholes that aren't subscribed to me. Like, tutorial starts here. Even though I mentioned this wasn't a tutorial 17 times in the fucking video, right? Right, okay. So, that's it, that's what's up. This is, I wanna say it was like $48 maybe. Uh, I'll leave a link for it, uh, like an Amazon link or something like that down below where you can check it out. Again, it does not come with a light, so you will need a light. So if you already have a light, you're good, if not, Go on Amazon, buy a cheap ass light. Maybe I'll find a really cheap light on Amazon and link it below. If I don't, then, you know, just search for a light on Amazon or something, girl. So, it's super cool and I like it a lot and I'm super excited because I got nails back. Okay, so, that's that was the video. That's it. That's cool. My merch. You like my merch? I have merch, like a real ass YouTuber that I will link down below if you would like to buy it. It doesn't look like this. It's not all skanky and stuff like this. It's, it's just, you know, normal stuff that's clean and things but it, it will be linked down below so if you would like to buy it from me I make every one of my t-shirts personally I print them out myself so if you were new here and you did not know that now you do that's it that's it for this video so thank you so much for watching I love you guys let me know what fidgets you want to see down below um any questions if you have any questions about like this whole dish let me know that in the comments below and I think that's it. I, I'm not super good at outros. So like the video if you like it. Dislike it if you didn't. Because, you know, dislikes count too. Uh, and I will catch you guys in my next one. Peace.